Jets plus 10.5 at the Colts. Jets have beaten two division leaders-ish. The Titans who were leading the AFC South and the Bengals who were leading the AFC North until recently. 10.5 point line is a substantial one. You buying or selling this, what do you like in Jets-Colts tonight? Yeah, I mean, I'm not buying the Mike White hype. I think what he did on Sunday shouldn't be discredited. He was outstanding, led the league in passing yards uh, for all of Week 8, shredded that Bengals defense. But so much of what he did was underneath. And to the Jets' credit, they devised the game plan that suited his skill set. So, you know, Coach LaFleur deserves a world of credit for that. They were able to get Michael Carter going, not only as a running back, but as a receiver. Now you've put all that on tape, and you wonder how the Colts will take that, kind of respond, force the Jets out of their comfort zone. This is also a Jets team in their last 12 road games. It's gone 2-10 and 10 against the number. They've been outscored by nearly 80-plus points so far this season away from home. And I think the honeymoon will be over, especially against the Colts team that spit the bit. I mean, for lack of a better term, on Sunday against your Titans, they found ways to squander multiple double-digit leads. Carson Wentz with some poor decision-making. Credit to Tennessee for that. But I think Indianapolis knows they've been given a new lease on life with the injury to Derrick Henry. 